Okay, patch chords. We've already sort of talked about patch chords, um, but let's talk about them like really explicitly. Patch chords are these wires that you use to connect objects to other objects. Um, you typically connect outlets from one object to inlets uh, to another object. And remember, outlets are on the bottom and inlets are on the top. So everything kind of flows downward in this sort of gravity metaphor. Uh, data just kind of flows through the system downward. Um, there's another way to connect multiple objects together that we'll talk about called send and receive. So you just send and receive are objects that just like can transmit data with no wires from one object to another. Or in this case, like, you know, you have to give it a name so it knows where to go. So I just called send this, I just, I just typed in Bob. It doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it anything. Apple or green or... Yeah. So send Bob, and that will be received by receive Bob, and R is our abbreviation for mm -hmm. receive. So You can also do S. Yeah, S and R. Mm -hmm. are, uh, so send and receive are used so often that you can abbreviate them with just an S and an R. Um, all right, but first let's look at the patch chords. So when I change, I lock my patch first. When I change the number that's in here by clicking and dragging in there, you can see it's going to every, it's, it's occupying every element here. So the, the number 50 is going through this wire into this object, which is then transmitting it along these two wires and then through this one and then through these two, you know, it's going everywhere. Um, so it's kind of propagating through the system downward. Um, send and receive, likewise, if I click on this button, it's gonna send the bang message to every object that has a receive or an R bob. So these two objects should both light up when I click on this. But they're not gonna go backwards. It doesn't go the other way. Mm -hmm. So they're not bi-directionally connected. It's not reciprocal. So if I click on receive bob, send bob is not lighting up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a one-way deal. Uh, send Joe goes to receive Joe. And um, let's Again, see. I yeah. want to interrupt you. Um, just the, the thing that's important to remember is that you have to give it a name because if you have just send with nothing, no no argument afterward, after it, and then a receive with no argument after it, it, it could get very confusing. The system won't know where you're sending and receiving to, and that's what giving it the name Bob yeah. tells it, send Bob, receive Bob. I don't think it even works. Like yeah. it's, it's like when it, objects yeah. turn brown like that, it means it's not done. You know, it's not instantiated correctly. So like, you send doesn't even work without an argument. You have to have an argument. So and that's important because if you're gonna have multiple send and receives in the same patch, yeah. they each get their own kind of designation. Yeah. If but you want it. My advice is in the long run, try not to use send and receive. Yeah, I don't use it. I right. never use it's, it. It gets really really crazy mm -hmm. like use it sparingly yeah because it can make it super hard to figure out what's going on in your patch especially the patch cord patches. yeah the patch cord it, it shows you visually what's connected to it but send doesn't show you you could have receives like hidden away in sub sub patches and like how are you going to find it it's, it's a real pain um so i prefer to avoid using send and receive whenever i can avoid it yeah um it's just in my opinion it's just a good practice to try and avoid it so. agreed but it's really useful sometimes, like really, really helpful. Like if, if you have to uh, send one number to like 50 objects that are dispersed throughout your entire patch, right. um, you don't want to have to have, draw 50 connection lines, and sometimes you can't do that anyway. Right, so, especially when you're dealing yeah. with set patches. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, send or see is really good. Um, but don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we talked about segmented patch cords where you like connect, can, you can connect uh, click on a patch cord hit command y and it turns it into this uh, you know angular thing and i'll talk in the next video about why you should uh, not do that <laughs> okay well, when